Hello and welcome back to Sea of Thieves. Today will be part one of a multiple part series in which I show you how not to suck at Sea of Thieves. Alright, in today's tutorial we'll be covering the basics, very basics, of your ship and explosive barrels and a couple of other things. If you keep up to date with this series and follow its instructions, you should be able to shoot up the ranks and climb your way to legend in no time. Alright, so the first tip is going to be to collect supplies. Every time you start a new ship, or join a new crew, you're going to want to gather all the supplies you can, more than likely multiple trips. Also, turn off every single light on your sloop and all the above deck lights, including the one in the captain's quarters, if you're on a galleon. Alright, next I'll show you from my experience what these flags have meant to me. The legendary flag means you probably have some good loot and you're probably quite the challenge to take down. And then you have the Shark Hunter flag, which is pretty much obsolete and meaningless after the Hungering Deep. White flag is also relatively meaningless now. The checkered flag probably means that you want to race. The black flag means you probably want to kill someone stealthily. The blue and the yellow flag both mean that you'll, you're probably a bit more passive. Red flag means that you're probably experienced and want to kill people. The Jolly Roger means that you're a noob and want to kill people. The rainbow flag means that you want other people to kill you. And the Bilge Ride Adventure flag means that you're currently doing the Bilge Ride Adventure. Alright, so now we have the anchor. We will cover the anchor later on in our next tutorial more in depth because there's actually a lot of different circumstances in which you do different things with the anchor. All right, so make sure that you always, always are angling your sails. No matter what, you should be angling your sails more than you need to. All right, and the next thing is that you want to keep a couple of explosive barrels on your ship at all times for defensive purposes and offensive purposes. And you can find these explosive barrels at any forts or strongholds it keeps, and so... You can also find tons of supplies at these keeps. What you're always going to want to do is unload all your supplies, grab supplies while you're here, and load up with tons of explosive barrels. Because you, at the end, even if you don't use them, you can always sell them. Alright, make sure you put the explosive barrels in the crow's nest or else you'll end up like that guy. Yeah, it happens a lot. Alright, so now let me grab another explosive barrel. Alright, and another thing to note is that with these explosive barrels, if you click the right trigger or the left click, then you will ignite it. And if you do the opposite click or the opposite trigger, you will turn off the ignition. You have exactly five seconds before it blows up once you've ignited it. All right, if you find yourself stuck on an island, as I'm demonstrating, you will be able to push yourself off the island using an explosive barrel. So what you're gonna wanna do is place it approximately 12 steps away. So I'm just going to count out 12 steps real quick. And I'm going to mark it with a hole. And place my barrel there. Alright. And so if you just stand back on your ship and blow up the barrel, you will see that your boat will be pushed off the rocks. And you'll be free from your watery grave. Alright. And you'll see that because it was that far away, we took absolutely no damage. The damage is all or nothing with explosive barrels. You either take all the holes or you take none of the holes. And so in this case, because we were outside of the range, we took none of the holes. All right, so now I'll show you how many holes you get. Whenever a explosive barrel blows up in your ship, it will always put the same amount of holes. It will put one, two, three, and four. It will always put four holes in your ship, no more and no less. If you're inside the range, you get all the holes. You're outside the range, none of the holes. All right, always make sure that you're patching up every hole on your sloop and every bottom deck hole on your galleon. If you have top deck holes on your galleon, patch them up going into a fight or patch them up if you're full on wooden planks. Other than that, leave them open. All right, you're always going to want to plan out your voyages before you start sailing. And to do this, plan out the, your most important stops and any stops that you want to make on the way. Once you've planned out a route, go ahead and start sailing. 
And a lot of times when you're running Merchant, you're going to want a map such as this. In this map, you, there's also an app that shows all the locations of all the animals. You're also going to want to make sure that if there's any water whatsoever in your ship, you're going to want to bail it out. Unless, of course, you're in a storm and you can't get it all out. And another thing is with the cannons, if you have full cannonballs, you cannot unload the cannons. This is not always readily apparent to people. Also, you cannot load the barrels unless you are holding the item that goes in the barrels, such as I cannot load my cutlass into that barrel. And to propose a voyage, go to your voyage table and slap down a voyage. And this one kind of sucks for me, so what I'm going to do is instead of immediately canceling it after checking it, I'm going to go up, grab the crates, place them at the feet of this uh, trader, and then I'm going to buy a new one. All right. If you're running a merchant, I would recommend keeping the crates on the back of your sloop in order to tell people that you're not worth much to them and that you're not really worth attacking and because you really don't want to lose those crates. Now, go ahead and slap down another voyage and you, of course, cancel it the same way you started it. And now this one's a little better, so we will run this one. All right. If you have more people on your crew, it is very, very important to make sure that everyone knows what they're doing and assign roles and communication is essential. Use parties, that way other crews cannot listen to you, because you wouldn't believe how many sneak attacks were ruined by people telling me they were about to attack me. Also, don't lose your crates. If you lose your crates, you are screwed. You cannot pick up any more at any other outpost once you lose them. Good job, man. All right, the other thing is that if someone is driving the boat, do not repetitively show them where you wish to go on your voyage. This is not going to help you get there, and it is also not going to make it any faster. And there's a good chance, while you're jumping around wildly, you're going to fall off the boat. Honestly, that's probably more helpful than what you were doing, but still not overly helpful. The next tip is to leave your crewmates behind. Always leave them behind in order to collect supplies if they don't have any. That way, you can replenish any supplies you've lost along your journey without having to make additional stops. Also, if you're low on health and there's no one around, go ahead and just kill yourself. It saves three bananas and will cost you 30 seconds. Alright, then if you have a pig that's gone into death squeal, trying to feed him like this will not work. You, in fact, have to be over him where, it will, where you can see the pick-up pig, and then it will allow you to feed him. And if you pick up the wrong color animal, you have to shoot it, because there is no way that you can get it out peacefully. Alright, on to sharks. Sharks take away exactly half your health when they bite you. So, the second you get bitten, whip out a banana, and that way you'll be able to survive one more bite. Alright, and now once that you're healed, go ahead and kill the shark. There we go. And now onto this. If you're bailing water, it's not going to help if your water keeps hitting your ship. So, also note, when you're throwing it out of a sloop, if you're trying to throw it out the window, make sure it gets out the window and doesn't hit the window. So, have your guys jump onto barrels floating in the water in order to grab more supplies on the way. And also, if you're passing an island, shoot them off onto the island. When parking at a dock, go ahead and put the bow between some larger sticks on the dock and drop your sail in order to keep you up against the dock. You will not take any damage if you go into this uh, slowly, and after you've already hit it, if you drop your sail, you'll also not take any damage from that. And this will be an easy way to get everything off your ship. Alright, and if you are coming to an end of your voyage, you're going to want to drop the explosive barrels out of your crow's nest and onto your main deck after you've unloaded everything else. This is the easiest way to get everything down. And you can go ahead and sell these off mission to the merchant, as you can sell anything off merchant to their correct vendor. Alright, and if you have an explosive barrel, make sure that you don't drop it underneath your own ship as it'll float up and blow up upon contact. This is extremely effective for blowing up enemy ships though, as it puts four holes below deck in extremely critical area, for, which will sink their ship very, very quickly. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe in order to get back to the basics. To watch our other videos uh, in this series, or our other series on other games, go ahead and click here.